You know me and I care about cable management when it comes to VR. I hate my cable hanging on the floor, hanging in my way, getting twisted up and being a bother. Now we've reviewed pretty much the basic design of every cable management system that's come out so far and none of them have quite been exactly what I wanted until hopefully today. The people at VR Wire have designed a new system. We reviewed one of theirs before. They've designed a better system that can actually even be upgraded if you have their old system to follow you around the room and give your cable more slack, more freedom, to where when you twist and turn, hopefully you're not gonna get it as twisted up, but also to keep it completely out of your way if you're doing room scale, if you're moving all around. Let's open this thing up, I'm excited. So real quick, if you were to buy the entire system, this is what you're gonna get. If you already bought the original system, which is what's in this box, you can buy the add-on. So the whole set, 40 bucks. The add-on, 25 bucks if you already own the original system. Always have a small, sharp unboxing knife when you go to cut open your boxes. You don't wanna hurt yourself, anybody around you doing anything crazy. This is our entire system right here. We're gonna go install this into the studio. This is gonna take up most of the ceiling in the room, the way it's gonna design. There's gonna be these cords running that are gonna have these rollers that can follow across. Pulley system here that's gonna hold up your cable. There's gonna be a bit of a how-to in this next section. So if you just wanna find out about the review, skip on ahead. I'll leave timestamps in the description for you to find it. But this next part is gonna be a bit of a how-to install that in case you've gotten this thing and you need to see how to get this set up just right. Cause it is gonna be a little bit of work your first time. So we're gonna head over to the studio and get this all set up there. Now, before you actually install this into the ceiling and where it's gonna go, there is some pre-steps you can take care of with all of it before. So one, you wanna take your two long wires that you're gonna set up and you're gonna wanna take the hooks that are not full circle hooks. And these are actually gonna screw into the ends of these. Make sure they're tight and they're not gonna pull out. Two. You might be looking at all this stuff and it kind of looks a little overwhelming, but one thing I wanna point out here, a lot of these are alternate options. So these two hooks that we just put on here, these are alternates with these hoops. This is gonna be if you're doing more of a permanent setup and you don't wanna be able to remove this. I'm doing a pretty permanent setup, but I'm still gonna go with these in case I need to take it down or adjust it just to make my life a little easier. So once you've decided on that, you can actually put these hooks away. Same thing with these when it comes to mounting this on the ceiling, you're gonna be able to use these or these so same thing. I'm gonna be trying these out, so I'm gonna put these away and make this a little easier, a little less overwhelming looking. Now that you have your hooks on here, you wanna put these stoppers on. What these are gonna do eventually is these are gonna move up and down and stop the cord from going too far. This hook is gonna go on the wall because I will be putting it through the green screen on the wall, I will not be able to use the command hook. Now for most people's situation, you're either gonna use the command strip or you're gonna use the two screws and then potentially the drywall mounts if you're going through drywall and if you're not gonna find a stud. You might be able to just use these on the drywall. I'm not gonna recommend that because it might just pull out of the drywall one day, but it might be an option. This part's gonna pop off. We're gonna mount this onto the wall when we get up there. And so that's where those screws are gonna end up. So you can put the command strip away if you're doing that or put the screws in the drywall mounts away if you're doing it the other way. At one point, this is gonna be holding tension. So we're gonna hook this onto here, but we're not gonna want this one to have any slack and movement. So we're gonna put this rubber piece in there to hold this tight. So this piece we'll be using to hold tension from our original tension puller here. And actually what this device, if you recognize this when you see it, this is actually typically marketed as a retractable clothesline by companies. And then you can retract this, hang clothes from it, but multi-purpose. So we're gonna put a hoop in here. We're pulling this through here so it makes a hoop. This is, you, you could tie this on, you can do this other ways, but this is just how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull this like this and then pull the entire length through so that now this will always stay tight. It won't be able to be pulled. There's more than one way you can attach that. That's just the way I'm gonna do it. Then that'll be hanging on there like this, but you can lock this in place depending on how big your room is. So if you have a really big room, this might actually run eight feet to where your VR space is. Or like me, you're working in a smaller room. You're probably gonna leave this all the way in and just lock it there. And this is gonna add all the tension you need. 
This piece of Velcro here is gonna be wrapped tightly around your cable. What this is gonna do is this is gonna provide the last stopper. So what you wanna do is make sure this gets tight all the way around. And there will be some adjustability on here, but what this is gonna do is that when this is pulling on our cable, this is gonna stop it and leave the last bit of slack above your head. I also have ran my cable up through the top because I want this pulling from the very top. That's optional, depending on what you like and your preference. I prefer my cable pulls from the top middle than from the side like a lot of them do. So that's what I'm doing. This piece is what's gonna hold our cable to its very first tensioner here. I'm gonna take the long side, I'm gonna run it through here, and then I'm gonna wrap that back around on itself. And then to help hold that tight so that's not gonna potentially come loose in the future, I'm gonna put my cable through here and then run that around this. Be a little careful here, this is rubber. If you got really overzealous, you could rip it, but essentially that is what that should look like so that then I can move this up and down the cable as I need to in adjustment. Lastly, we need this piece, pretty basic. You're just gonna run that right through there. And once you've got all this done here, you're ready to actually mount this thing up on the ceiling. First step here, I'm gonna mount this up to the wall. Keep in mind as you go to mount this, this part slips out the bottom, but to get this back on, you're gonna need at least this much room to get up. So don't be tempted to mount this right in the corner and then find out you can't get this back on there. And like I said earlier, you can unhook this and have a lot of length. We're not gonna need length in the end, but for now I'm gonna leave it loose just to put less tension on the system while we're installing it. Now these cables, you want these to run pretty much the full length of your VR play space. So if your play space is over eight feet, these might actually start to slow you down a bit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run these the entire length because then what the rollers are gonna do is as I walk or move, the rollers are gonna move with me and follow me around the room. We're gonna try these hooks. These just hook right through your drywall. You just take the sharp end, you shove it in through your drywall, and it's gonna go all the way up and create a hook like this. So you wanna make sure it's gonna face the right direction. So it should end up like this here for me. No matter how hard you try, there's gonna be some slack. You actually want there to be a little slack because it's gonna be hanging down from this. So that is a note to think, if you had a ceiling in your house that was like six feet tall, you could easily reach the ceiling, this might get in the way. You really want it to be at a point where even if you were reaching up and swinging in VR, you wouldn't be able to reach this hopefully. So this should be a good height for this room, but if you have like a six foot high ceiling in your VR, one, you're probably breaking controllers if you play Beat Saber when you reach up anyways, but two, the system might not work for you there. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna hook this other one up real fast. So at this point earlier, we assembled these two on this. That would be necessary if we had a bigger space that we're using it in, but this is, this is overkill for the space we're using. So I'm actually gonna take this off and I'm just gonna run this directly on my cable. This will be spare parts as well. Depending on your setup and how much room you need, you may want to keep it, but I'm not going to. So now you're just gonna put your cable in through here. And then that cable is naturally gonna hold that from there. This piece right here, we are gonna hook this on this side of the Velcro. So we're just gonna open this up on the cable, just like the last one, run the cable through. And then we're gonna run this up to here. And then with that here, we now have the cable holding up. I could probably hit that if I tried with Beat Saber, so there might be a few little tweaks. But for now, that's holding pretty good. Even already just moving around to adjust this, keeping my headset on, this is not something I could have gotten away with with my old system. So that is a pretty big improvement. This stops it when I get too close from leaving too little slack. And so now, if I had the ability to use my entire room, which I don't, I could walk all the way around my space. So the very last thing you want to do now is make sure that if this comes all the way over here, it might hit the ceiling depending on how your setup is. Mine looks fine, but you can move these stoppers out as far as you want to stop that when you get too far over to the edge. This does feel good, it feels really free. I do still notice it pulling a little bit, but it's definitely of any VR system that's out there, it's definitely the least pull that I've felt. It feels very free, it feels very wireless, and something else that they did with the system that is actually truly revolutionary. The big problem with any VR cable management system is that if you turn, it's gonna wind up your cable. It's still gonna happen with this just like it with any, but because this is free and hanging in here instead of being held onto by a clip, it actually can physically turn inside of here. So you're allowing a little bit more of that pressure of your turns to go all the way through the cable management system 
until right here is where it's stopping. So you're still losing from here to your PC worth of cable twisting ability, but you're keeping a lot more where with my old system, it literally was this much cable that could twist when I would twist and turn. Or now when I twist and turn, that whole cable can absorb it. So that is a massive improvement in that area. You still should use an app like Turn Signal or something so that if you're a left, if you're not an ambi turner, if you turn a thousand times one way, you're not gonna get yourself into trouble by bending up your cable, but it's gonna allow you a lot more freedom. Someone like me who doesn't turn a lot, I probably don't need to worry ever again with this cable system. So that is a huge improvement. It holds it enough that I can still set my headset down. And I wonder, I usually store my headset on my desk. I mean, I technically could leave that right there. And it's not really in my way because that's where my desk and stuff is at. So now my cable system's always hooked up and ready for when I grab it to just get right into a game. That is honestly really freaking cool. This is exactly what I've been imagining when it comes to the best kind of cable management system you can make. It is a little complicated to set it up, but the fact that you can move around your room scale freely and it just follows you all around the room. And even with a big light, it's low enough under it that it's not gonna get in the way of that and get in trouble. I am much more impressed with this than I thought I was gonna be. This is actually a really smart and well thought out design. I am super happy with this. I would highly recommend this. If you need the space, if you need to be able to move around, I would recommend this over the Kiwi Designs system that I've been using up until this time. Because the Kiwi Designs, they'd made a system that they thought would do this, but in actuality, it didn't really work. You can see that in the other video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it didn't follow you like this one, even though it was supposed to. This one actually almost chases you around the room as you move. It's fantastic. If you've ever used anything like this, if you've designed something like this yourself, if you're still looking for something like this, I'd love to hear about in the comments. What are your thoughts? Do you think this is for you? $40 is not super cheap, but I mean the Kiwi Pro system that I was using, I think is like $31 usually. So it's really not that much more. So I would definitely recommend, check them out, vr-wire.com. Don't just put in vrwire.com or it's gonna take you somewhere else. Whole kit's 40 bucks. They send it to you in a couple different boxes. Take some time for setup. It is gonna be a little complicated to get it fully set up the first time, but once you do, totally worth it. I'm in love with it. Let me know if you think you are too, or if you get one, let me know what you think of it because I'm pretty excited. I wanna say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in another reality. I wanna say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel, and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nebatebo, Ege Karatosh, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.